All right, what's up, guys? My name is Zach, and welcome back to the podcast formerly known as Let's Talk Mazda. Now, that's actually going to be the talking point of today's podcast, is that I am rebranding Let's Talk Mazda, and there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all is I don't want to ever come into a legal dispute um, or any sort of legal trouble with the podcast name. Let's Talk Mazda. I don't want to profit off of something with Mazda's name. I'm not sure um, if that could get me in trouble or not. So just to be on the safe side, I have taken Mazda out of the name. What this also means is that the previous episodes of Let's Talk Mazda will still remain up. Those are not changing. Those are not going away. Um, it's just a, a rebranding of the title. So from this episode on, it'll be known as the Shooting Cars podcast and not Let's Talk Mazda. <clears throat> the other reason for that is because at first I was okay with sort of typecasting the podcast as a sort of, it's, it's a Mazda-based podcast. And I was okay with that because I wanted to push Mazda based content. I know a lot of you guys who follow the channel uh, are big fans of Mazda as as I am. And that was the original goal always was to just do a a Mazda based podcast for Mazda fans. Um because honestly the, the whole point was I I wanted a Mazda podcast to listen to and no one was really making one, so I decided to do one myself. I, I I set out with that intent and unf not unfortunately, I actually, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy podcasting and I didn't realize how many opportunities I was cutting off for myself just because it was called Let's Talk Mazda. And so recently, if you guys saw the last two episodes, really the last episode um, with Caleb, Pasha and Carmelo. Uh, we had we talked for like an hour and we just talked, you know, BS. We just talked. That was it. It was just some friends hanging out uh, and chatting. And I had a really good time filming that and I think a lot of people liked it. And so I didn't want to to suffocate the podcast into only having it be let's talk serious topics, let's talk... Um, Let's talk Mazda, honestly. I, I, I didn't want it to be that restrictive, which I never really thought of when I first came up with this idea. This idea has been very, very fluid. Why is my mom texting me? If the taco truck is open, would you like something? No, I'm okay. I just hate. Thank you. Oh, she's going to give me something from the taco truck. Anyway, sorry for the interruption, but what was I talking about? Yeah, so I, I want to do more podcasts just talking with friends, just hanging out. Yes, there will always be an emphasis on cars. Um, I'm always going to talk with my car friends, um, as it will be, whether that be Caleb, uh, Pasha, or the shop guys, Mike, Adam, Steen, uh, Chooch, um, anyone as my water thing goes off. Um, anyone, I, I, I just want to have conversations. I just want to talk. And so I would say one of my biggest influences for the podcast would be, uh, the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, I listen to your mom's house podcast, the fighter and the kid and all this stuff. And all of those podcasts, they're, they're definitely geared towards something, especially mostly Joe Rogan. I'm thinking about is in, he has scholars on. He has, you know, very smart, smart people. Neil deGrasse Tyson was one of my favorite episodes. But he also has comedians on. He also has his friends on. And they just, you know, just talk, just shoot the breeze for a while. And that's really cool. I, I, I want to do something like that because all my friends are, they're, they have amazing personalities. They're fun to talk to. And I think people would like to listen to that as well. <laughs> So that's the other reason for rebranding the podcast. So it's not typecast as just Mazda stuff. Um, like I was thinking about, you know, if I could get other bigger YouTubers on that haven't had any Mazdas, you know, that would, I, I wouldn't want to have someone on and then, you know, have them feel awkward because they're not into Mazdas, you know, stuff like that. So that is the reason for the rebranding. Um, 
yeah, that's really it. So I'm just making this podcast episode to kind of get that out there. Uh, so moving forward, when you guys see a uh, podcast, they'll be called the Shooting Cars Podcast. But it is still technically Let's Talk Mazda. It's the same, it's the same show. Nothing's changing. It's just the name. That being said, uh, the podcast name has changed on all other platforms. So if you listen to this on iTunes, Spotify, um, Stitcher, a, a bunch of other podcast locations, um, the name will be changed on there as well. So this is mostly for the audio listeners, um, just because um, they won't they won't really know what's up. But yeah, other than that, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast. Definitely please leave a comment down below how I can improve, uh, how I can make things better, uh, who I should have on, who I should contact, who I should reach out to, anything like that, any suggestions or help uh, for the podcast, definitely let me know. Uh, Leave it in the comment section if it's here on YouTube or or find some other way uh, to contact me. Uh, probably through Instagram at shooting underscore cars or at FB Zach, no underscore in the second one. Um, but yeah, so the other thing I want to talk about is the year of the hustle. Now, if you follow my Instagram shooting cars or, um, I I feel like I've posted it elsewhere. I posted a vlog. I filmed it new year's day. I don't know when I posted it. It was right after, but Steen, Andrew Steen, if you guys don't know, my good friend who's building an FD out at Red Mist Automotive, he sort of came up with, I believe he came up with it, if I'm misquoting him, and someone else came up with it, I apologize. Why am I trying to talk through a burp? Okay. Anyway, um, he, he kind of proclaimed that 2019 is the year of the hustle. He plans on getting his FD running this year. And so that sort of spread. And so that's why, if you guys have noticed on my YouTube channel, I've been posting tons and tons of videos. I've been doing almost every weekday for the last four to five weeks um, of just videos. And it has been a lot of reviews, which uh, the reviews I know some people get tired of, um, but the reviews are huge because it draws new people to the channel. Um, And so that's why I've been doing so many reviews is that it, it pulls in people of other car backgrounds to the channel so say obviously my channel is very much geared towards rotaries and geared towards rx7s and mazdas and all that stuff well someone who loves let's take a car that i recently filmed that's going to come out later is a lincoln mark 8 i drove a 1997 lincoln mark 8 that review should be up on the channel later uh probably in about a week because I'm a little backlogged right now, which is good. I love being backlogged because then it, it gives me a good cushion. Um, but let's say something someone only only likes Lincoln Mark 8s. That's their, their go-to. That's their bread and butter. That's the only car they really like. Well, they would never have a reason to come to my channel. They would never, ever really find my channel otherwise because... They only like Lincoln Mark 8, so they're not going to be searching up RX-7s, and they're not going to be looking up Miatas, and they're not going to, you know, have any interest in the rotary engine. But if I make that review, if I film that review, and I did, and it'll be out, I don't know why I'm speaking hypothetically, but when that review comes out, and say that person who loves Lincoln Mark 8s, he's, he or she, or them, or they, or whoever, is going to find that video, and they're going to watch it. And hopefully, with the best of luck, as if they, I hope that they like my video style. I hope that they they like what I what I have to say, um, or at least respect what I have to say. Then maybe they'll maybe they'll click on the channel, and maybe they'll you know peruse through a couple of videos, and maybe they'll be like, you know, I love my Lincoln Mark Eight, but what what is a rotary? What, how does a rotary work? And maybe they'll click on one of my other videos, and then maybe they'll get interested, and then. Maybe out of that, maybe I've gotten a subscriber, or if anything, maybe I've just fed someone's curiosity, uh, which I think is huge to me, is just feeding into the curiosity of someone, showing people what rotary engines are. Do I think that rotary engines are the most important invention of the 20th century? No, obviously not. But I love them, and I think they're cool and unique, and it they're one of my favorite inventions ever, personally. And so just spreading that knowledge, spreading that curiosity, spreading the joy that it has brought me to other people, 
that's worth it. So that's why I do a lot of car reviews. That's why I've been pushing as many car reviews as possible. They also, they're also what I like to call slow burns in the fact that when I put out a car review, they normally don't get a whole lot of views immediately, but they get consistent views. You know, I still get comments on reviews I did two years ago, you know, well, coming up on two years ago, I really started doing, I really started pushing for reviews in 2017. Um, I really started doing them in 18. It definitely picked up a lot more, but 19, 19 has been off the rails. 19 so far in the past four months, I've filmed more reviews than I did in 2017, the entire year. Uh, I believe I'm on review, I just filmed review 182, which if you guys don't know, which if you guys are listening to this podcast, you get a little tidbit of information that I haven't shared. Um, ever since, I want to say the Chevy Astro van review, some point in f- late January, early February, at the very, very end of reviews, the last two seconds of the video, I actually put a card, I call them cards, and it has the date that the video was filmed, the car that was filmed, the credits to whoever edited it and filmed it, which has always been me, but maybe someday someone else will edit them, I don't know, but for now, it's I, I do everything on this channel, I make the channel art, um, I made my profile picture, I drew my profile picture, uh, I, I make all my thumbnails, I edit everything, it's really a one-man show, this channel, and I'm not saying that to brag or anything, I'm just letting you guys know that, like, so far it's me. Anyway, uh, the end card, and then it also has the review number, so which number uh, the review is, so the Lincoln Mark 8 is 182, then before that's a smart car, before that is a BMW, before that is a Mazda 6, and before that is a Dodge Neon SRT4. So if you're watching this the day that the podcast comes out, uh, tomorrow's a Dodge Neon SRT4. But that being said, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So if you're interested in that stuff, um, there is a card at the end of all my reviews now that say all of that information. And it it gives – I always think it's cool. I always wonder, like, what I was doing when a certain thing was filmed. Like, I, I recently saw Captain Marvel, and I was like, what was I doing when they were filming this? Like, I just wonder, like, was I just, like, chilling at home while they were making this huge movie that I ended up seeing months and months later? I don't know. I like that. So, I, I do put at the end of the videos, at the end cards, um, I put the day that I filmed it. And sometimes you, you'll notice that, like, I filmed them two weeks before they come out or something like that. Or sometimes it's the day before they came out. Um, I think recently I used to, but recently I haven't really released anything um, the day it, I filmed it. I used to do that. Some Every once in a while that I would post a video at like 8 p.m. that I filmed at like noon that day. Um, but yeah, anyway, getting back to it, year of the hustle, I've been trying to push as much content as I possibly can. And I, I really hope that like 2019, year of the hustle, I hope that that affects other people. It definitely affects all of us at the shop. You know, Mike and I had a good conversation yesterday, Mike, who owns Red Mist Automotive, that like, you know, he's been super productive. He's been getting cars in and out as fast as he can, you know, because this is, we're using 2019 as a building year, especially for the channel. This is a building year. And so we've deemed 2020 the year of the flex. So the year of the hustle and then the year of the flex, because hopefully all of this hard work that we're putting in this year will pay off in 2020. And I think it will, um, especially with reviews and stuff, you know, Ever since I start filming more and more reviews, I get more and more review offers. I have a list in my phone of everyone who has ever offered me a vehicle to review. And a lot of these, um, a lot of these are cars that, uh, required spring time to be around. So, uh, because a lot of these people reached out to me in February and they say, Hey, you know, I'm not getting my car out of storage until April or May, you know? So right around now is probably when people are getting their cars out of storage, uh, cause they have more patience than me. But, um, I have a whole list and like, I, I'm just, I'm going to film as much as possible and I hope that you guys enjoy them. I hope that you guys like it. Um, and really this is just, it, it's really just, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really just an exercise for me to to get better at what I'm doing. Hopefully, you guys have noticed that the reviews have been getting better. 
Um, you know, I went back and watched one of my old reviews, and I was like, I, I feel like the old reviews, I just barely scratched the surface. And maybe even now, maybe I'm still only scratching the surface, but I'm scratching a little bit deeper than I used to be. And that's that's a, the track that I'm excited to be on, and that's the, the track that I can hope for, um, is to just get better. You know, this is what I want to do. As of right now, YouTube is my only gig, um, because I'm lucky enough that I still live at home. I'm going to school. I'm going to college. Um, and so money, I, I don't really need money at this point. I don't have a car payment. I don't have rent to pay. I don't have utilities to pay. Uh, my crippling student loans haven't come due yet. And so right now from what I'm making off of YouTube, it's, it's comfortable for me. It's all right. Um, but I, I hope to make this a, a, a bigger thing. I hope to grow up more. And so... Thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We recently crossed over 3 million total views, and we're just about to cross over 16,000 subscribers at the 16-minute mark, I just noticed, um, which is absolutely insane. You know, I never thought starting a YouTube channel, I, I really never thought that it would be this big. I never thought that I would finally gain a following, um, and so I, it's it's incredible to me. So I guess I, I kind of want to use this podcast as also just like a channel update and the fact that, um, I'm kind of sorry, not sorry about all the reviews. I know I wish that I had more diverse content to, f that I could post. I wish I had more rotary lifes to, to post more stuff doing to the car. I wish that I had the money to go out and buy a new project car, flip it and sell it and, and all that stuff. I just don't have that money at, at, at the time or at, you know, Right now, I don't, um, but that's the goal eventually is to get more project cars, uh, you know, do more how-tos, more informational videos. I have two informational videos lined up right now to film about Mazdas, um, which you guys seem to really like those videos, and I'm hyped to do those just because, uh, you know, I think Mazda is such an un underappreciated brand, Um but yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking with the channel. Thank you guys so much for sticking with the podcast. You guys seem to like the podcast. Um, the, the the podcast with Pasha, me and Pasha, just Pasha, uh, talking, that, you guys really like that. You guys really seem to like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, if you want to listen to the podcast while driving or doing homework or whatever, it's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, uh, wherever you can get podcasts, uh, you can find my podcast. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video. Well, I guess you might be listening, so don't forget to rate the podcast. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Take care. Uh, uh, there goes a sign from my soul. Uh,